G'day guys, how's it going? It's Cody Orgel and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how you can monetize any passion, skill, or hobby that you have and turn it into a business that generates income that allows you to live a life of passion while also making money. How exciting is that? So if like the last two years or so is anything to go by, it's that job security, in my opinion, is kind of an illusion. To be honest, I think there's a better way and there's a more stable and more guaranteed way to do things that is gonna help sustain you in the long run. And that's what this video is about. So not to toot my own horn or anything like that, but I'm truly grateful grateful that over these last few years, I've been able to have my own business around my passion that's been able to pay me out sustainably despite uh, many people going through some struggles with uh, losing their jobs and all that kind of thing. And I really feel for those people. And the basis of this video was, was to make it for all those people that may have lost their job and are looking for an alternative way. I just wanted to just share my story just so that you know that it's possible and it maybe acts as some kind of inspiration and motivation. So for me, looking back, the whole idea of this was to create a lifestyle of ultimate freedom from working a job that I didn't really like. Going back, I used to work in hospitality and I was stuck washing dishes and I was just washing dishes every day, day in, day out. And I was just thinking about what I wanted to do in my life. And with a lot of time to think, I was like, stuff it, you know what? I'm just gonna go travel. I'm gonna just go on this trip. I was planning to go to the US. It's a long story and I've probably explained it a heap of times in other videos, but I just went on that spontaneous adventure to another country and then I fell in love with adventure cycling. And from that moment on, I was like, I want to try and make money from this because at, at the time I was uh, making money from selling things online. So I'd go to op shops and thrift stores and buy stuff and sell it on eBay. And I couldn't do that while I was on the road. I couldn't physically buy products, hold onto them as I sold them kind of thing, maybe small items, but it wasn't sustainable. And I was trying to figure out a way where I could make money anywhere in the world, be on a beach in the middle of nowhere and still be able to work on my business. That was the ultimate goal. There's many ways that you can monetize your hobby, your passion or any skill that you have. Uh, for example, you could start a YouTube channel, kind of like what I'm doing right here. Just a warning from my own personal experience, it's bloody hard and I'm still trying to figure this out. Again, I don't have all this figured out and I'm just making these videos from my own experience while I'm on the journey, you know. And that's kind of where I started just filming my adventures when I was on my bike in different countries. And I was trying to make money from the videos, from the ads on the videos. What I realized is that you kind of need a lot of views to make that decent income. I think at one point I was making around 500 to $1,000 a month on YouTube ads. And that is a lot of hard work. That was filming like a video every day of like, you know, like vlog style videos every day of my adventures. And it kind of got exhausting and it kind of wore me out after I think it was like 200 videos consecutively every day. And lately I'm sort of figuring out that there's a, a different way of doing things. You've got to create videos that people are searching for or that people are going to find interesting, not just about my day kind of videos. You only have a certain amount of people that will be interested in watching those videos, but there's a lot more audience and viewer possibilities if you're creating videos about something that people actually genuinely are interested in. That's a different video altogether. Again, you can flip products. Like I said, you can buy stuff from garage sales, thrift stores, op shops for a lower price and then sell them on places like eBay, Facebook Marketplace for what the market is actually demanding for them. That's a great way to do it. I, I did that in my early days, like when I first started on this journey, 17 to, you know, 20, something around there. And that was enough to, you know, not have to work a job, which I highly recommend if you're starting on this journey, that's a great place to start. Again, looking at what skills you have. If you're a great writer, you can do freelance writing. If you're an artist, you can create artwork and sell it online. You can put it on a t-shirt. I played around with that as well, like creating designs and putting them on t-shirts, selling them on Etsy and using Printful to fulfill the orders. It's like print on demand style. And I mean, that works pretty well. You can definitely scale that if that's something you're interested in. Again, this video is gonna be all over the place, but I feel like you just need to test a lot of things and figure out what's gonna work for you. But for me, what actually worked and is making substantial income now is starting a blog. It wasn't something that I really intended to start or I thought that was gonna really be something that I did. Because to be honest, like looking back at year 12 English, I failed and I just <laughs> really terrible at writing. And to think that is something that is making me income right now, is kind of crazy. And also, if you're like an introvert or you just don't really like being in a busy, loud workplace, starting a blog can be ideal because you can just sit in your own space and, and write away. Obviously, about something that you're passionate about. 
and it's a win-win. So how do you make money from a blog? You can sell ad space on the blog. So once you get enough traffic, I have a few other videos that I'll link down below if you wanna check out those about my progress with blogging and stuff, but you can sell ad space. You can go to ad networks such as Ad Thrive or Ezoic or Mediavine, those kind of places. And they're kind of like a middleman. So what they'll do is they'll find the advertisers, link you with the advertisers, and then they will put the ads on your site and then they just pay you monthly, which is a great way to make income. And that's the main main source of income for my blog at the moment. You can also sell affiliate products. You can go to company websites and find their affiliate program. And if they're selling products that mesh with the content you're creating, you can mention their products in your articles and sell them with an affiliate link and then you get a commission, which is awesome. So for example, for me, I will create content about bikes for my audience and I'll talk about what bikes are best for them and that kind of thing. And I'll suggest a bike and if they buy that bike, I get a commission from that sale. Another great way that, again, I'm still in the process and I'm still figuring this out is selling your own products. And that's something that I want to do. So you can sell physical products, you can create your own products and sell them, or you can create digital products. So you can create eBooks, courses like video courses and sell people on information, getting sort of like the insider behind the scenes, like solving their problems kind of solutions through a info product. Another way is if a company is interested in reaching out to your audience, you can publish sponsored content. So you can create content around their products and highlight that it's sponsored and they can pay you for publishing that on your site. Again, guys, the possibilities are endless. In today's world, you can pretty much monetize any skill. Mm. Okay, so what if you're struggling to find that passion or if you're not sure if that passion is gonna make you income? It's pretty safe to say that just about anything that you're interested in, if it's not super niche, other people are also gonna be interested in. And if they're interested, that means that there's an audience that can be monetized. But I love this ancient Japanese concept called Ikigai. And it's essentially the reason for being. It's essentially a combination of what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for, which is obviously important if you're wanting to monetize, and what you're good at. So if you can find something that combines all four of those together, you have Ikigai, which is like the ultimate, right? So I just thought that was worth mentioning as well. So if you're still trying to figure out your passion, making sure that it ticks all four of those boxes is the perfect recipe for success. Also, it's worth mentioning, is there someone out there that's in your field that you're potentially interested in monetizing that is killing it? Is there someone out there that has their brand, that has a blog, that has a YouTube channel around a topic that you're excited about? If they're successful at it, if they are making money from it, that is evidence that it is possible and it should make you feel a lot more comfortable about going after that passion. For me personally, there was a few brands and a few people out there that were doing what I'm doing right now and I really, looked up to them and it made me feel that it was quite possible. You kind of just got to sort of figure out what they're doing right and just do that as well for yourself. It's also important to worth noting that you need to add value to people's lives. So if you're wanting to make money from your passion, if you're wanting to monetize any skill that you have, you need to add value. For me and the way I see adding value in general is adding value through content. So that's creating a blog post, that answers someone's questions, creating a YouTube video that adds value, kind of like what I'm trying to do here. So if you're creating content, even if it's posting something on Instagram or on Facebook or something like that, you know, a little tip or a bit of content that inspires someone, creating that is gonna build your audience and attract those people that you can monetize later on down the road if you're wanting to sell them a product or something like that. It's also important to be personable as well. Again, this is hard if you're someone who doesn't like to put yourself out there, but I also think it's still possible for you to monetize a passion if you know you don't have to put your face on a camera. You can still hide. You don't have to like be fully out there and everything because that can be hard for some people, which is why I think a blog is great to, uh, a great way to monetize because you don't have to talk, you're just writing, you know? You're answering people's questions, people are searching things on Google. If you know how to find what they're searching for and also fill a hole in the market because there's a lot of things that people search that don't really get answered properly in the search results. So if you can create a piece of content that answers that question spot on, adds value to that person's life, that's adding value in general in return is what you can get monetized for. So it's all about adding value. Also, I think it's important to try to improve yourself as well and get better at that skill, passion or hobby that you are excited about. You don't need to be the best in the world at it. A lot of people say that, oh, you have to be the best to get paid for it or make a certain amount of money or whatever it is. But 
If you're just looking to, you know, make money from this passion just to replace your day job or something like that to create that ultimate freedom lifestyle, like who wouldn't want that, right? Then you don't really need a huge audience. I think there's this book called A Thousand True Fans or something like that. And it talks perfectly about this concept where you just get those thousand loyal followers and that's enough to make a substantial business from your passions. But again, going back to getting better at your skill and passion, that means it's not obviously gonna be that hard to get better at it if you're passionate about it. So if you're just practicing it, you know, for me, it was adventure cycling. So I'd go on more adventures and I'd film those adventures and I'd learn about how to pack the bike, how to do certain things, find, you know, plan certain trips and all that kind of stuff. And then from me knowing all this information and made it a lot easier for me to create the content when it came to writing articles, I could just pump out the articles very easily. And then you also become established as someone who is an authority figure in your passion, in your niche topic, whatever it is. You become someone that people look up to and they look to you for answers. And it's just truly something special. So anyway, guys, I really hope this video sort of helped outline how you can monetize pretty much any passion and I want you to know that if you're having any doubts yes it can be tough at times but it is bloody possible and I just want you guys to know that if any of you guys are struggling at the moment trying to figure this out I just want you to know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and you know you can go after your dreams and and follow that passion and just and just make it you know a true reality I genuinely believe that and I want nothing but the best for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also drop any comments down below if you have any ideas or tips for someone else about this topic. That would be awesome. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.